I've waited years to make this video. AMD is back, baby. If you followed my work for any amount of time, you know that I've been pushing AMD to get their sh** together and improve the image quality of their video encoders. If you're a game streamer, YouTuber, video editor, or work in a similar field, AMD has just not been competitive for creative work, and the quality difference between streams or videos produced on AMD versus Intel or Nvidia has been massive. Small updates have improved things a bit over the years, and within the past few years, AMD has finally started working more directly with the OBS team for integrations and improvements. Plus, they recently acquired Xilinx, the company that makes badass video encoding specific hardware, like this incredible video encoding card I demoed last year. The RX 7000 series graphics cards from AMD saw a new dual media engine be added to accommodate AV1 encoding, but the results still weren't great. Well, I'm happy to report that video quality on RX 9000 is now more than good enough for everything you might have picked an NVIDIA or Intel GPU over an AMD GPU for. I'm honestly blown away, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows, and there's still some big problems. This is going to get super nerdy, so let's dive in. I'll be using both visual subjective quality comparisons that you see on screen, as well as quantitative analysis done with the assistance from Netflix's VMAF quality assessment algorithm. My sample footage consists of various clips from the Ziff test media library, as well as lossless gameplay samples that I captured myself for this purpose. I'll be analyzing all three codecs available to encode on these cards. H.264, what you're traditionally used to using for YouTube videos, social media, and Twitch streams for the past 20 years. HEVC, a more modern, high-efficiency codec that you can use for YouTube streams and videos, and soon Twitch streams, via the Twitch Enhanced program. And AV1, a newer, modern, open-source video codec that is capable of achieving even higher quality for the same bitrate than HEVC, which can be used for YouTube streams and videos, and hopefully, eventually, Twitch streams. Historically, AMD's H.264 encoder has been very poor quality, but the HEVC encoder usually offered a little bit better. Well, on RX 9000, the H.264 encoder has made massive leaps and bounds over prior generations in most contexts. This is the biggest jump we've ever seen for AMD's encoder quality yet, and possibly the biggest jump in encoder quality from one generation to the next that we've seen from any GPU vendor. In some samples, such as Battlefield 2042, Halo, Witcher 3, and some live action samples, the new AMD H.264 encoder is neck and neck with both Intel and Nvidia's encoders at all bit rates. In some cases, the AMD encoder might be a hair lower than the competition, but not enough to make a significant impact. I'd still consider it mostly tied. Last generation's AMD H.264 encoder is clearly far behind all of these. What a leap. In other samples, such as Counter-Strike GO, GTA 5, and the Touchdown sample, AMD's H.264 encoder comes out on top, outperforming all of the competition. Something I never expected to say in a video here. I can hear your cheers through the screen, and regardless of scores, in some cases the RX 9000 AMF looks outright better than Invink, with cleaner chunks of the level, less artifacting around text, and so on. In some super dark scenes, however, RX 9000's H.264 struggles to maintain distinct detail, but does avoid the exaggerated micro-blocking of the older AMD encoder. Such as here, on this character the detail is not as clear as with Invink, and it almost feels like there's some added sharpening at play here, which makes the artifacting a little bit more obvious than it might otherwise be. Clearly, AMD has optimized their encoder for fast-moving gameplay footage, which is great. However, quality suffers on more slow-moving gameplay, such as Hearthstone, Starcraft, and oddly, Minecraft. This is ironic, as reduced on-screen movement should be universally easier to encode in high quality, but AMD still lags behind the competition in these games, though with a significant upgrade over last generation here. Even better, in some cases, the lower bitrate range, around 6 megabits per second, AMD outperforms higher bit rates of its competitors, allowing the streamer to save on bandwidth and improve quality. This is wonderful, and means that if you were really wanting to buy an AMD graphics card, but had leaned towards NVIDIA for streaming or content quality, the choice is no longer necessary. AMD will keep up with the competition for you. Better yet, there is an option you can enable through the manual encoder and configuration in OBS called Enable VBAQ, which turns on something called Adaptive Quantization. For NVIDIA users, this option used to be called Psycho-Visual Tuning in OBS. This helps improve image quality in high motion scenarios. This does not produce a higher VMAF score, sometimes like a tiny decimal place higher, but it can improve the subjective quality of the stream. Such as in this Witcher example, where all encoders really struggled with the darkness at a low bitrate, but VBAQ helps maintain clarity and you can still see series sort a bit compared to Invink. It's a tiny change, but it's free quality. My biggest frustration here is that this is not enabled by default. All GPU vendors seem to base some of their default settings on what will achieve the highest PSNR or VMAF quantitative scores instead of what will look best to the user. 
and I find that to be a little silly. There's been an open pull request on the OBS GitHub for changing the default encoder settings for AMD. It's been open since 2023, and no one can seem to agree on the settings that should be set. Meanwhile, Nvidia has completely streamlined their settings into convenient presets that the user never has to worry about anything beyond those presets. All right, let's look at HEVC or H.265. This is a higher efficiency video codec that spent most of its life thus far locked behind patent wars, and thus not super useful to creators because nothing really supported it. But in recent years, YouTube ramped up a lot of support for it, and Twitch has been beta testing streams with HEVC via the Twitch Enhanced Broadcasting Flow. I have videos on this linked below. Here we see similar trade-offs with AMD RX 9000 topping the competition in some games and tying with them in others. Again, in most cases for streaming or video production, you're no longer put at a disadvantage by choosing an AMD GPU, at least as far as image quality is concerned. Again though, more static scenes like Hearthstone are a big struggle for this encoder. HEVC sees less of an improvement over last generation on these scenes. There is a big downside to all of this here. The AV1 encoder seems to have not improved at all in this generation. In fact, in virtually all of my samples, the, a the RX 9000's AV1 encoder performed worse than the prior generation RX 7000's AV1 encoder. And that already scored lower than the competition. There are a couple samples where this isn't the case, but broadly speaking, this is a downgrade. It's great that AMD put in the work to improve their H.264 encoder so significantly, and that should not be overlooked by any stretch. But I kind of predicted this over the past few years, that with H.264 reaching the end of its relevance, if AMD put all of its eggs in that basket to fix it up this late in the game, it would fall behind as the world moved on to HEVC and AV1. I think this will be a good upgrade for a few years, but that AV1 quality hit is a really unfortunate trade-off to make. I'm not sure why it had to be this way. I'd also like to note that we are leaving additional performance on the table when streaming here as well. It's been revealed to me that both RX 7000 and RX 9000 series cards technically have dual hardware encoders, much like the recent NVIDIA GPUs, but they're just inaccessible for the most part. There's no option in OBS for it. There's no split frame encoding, at least as far as anyone can tell at all, and it doesn't automatically load balance your encodes across the different hardware. You'd have to manually specify and direct each individual encode to one of the encoders. If AMD could implement some sort of automatic load balancing like Nvidia does, we could see some real streaming performance gains here. And if they could get split frame encoding, which Nvidia does on RTX 4000 and 5000 GPUs to divide up your frame across two encoders, that could potentially allow for quality improvements too. Maybe. At the very least, I'd like to see them work with Twitch to allow the Twitch Enhanced Broadcasting configuration to easily access both encoders and assign encodes to them. That would be a huge boost for streamers on those cards. AMD has come a long way with their video encoders. There's still things to be desired, but if you don't have complicated needs and just want to stream or export videos without having significantly worse quality than your friends with NVIDIA cards, you can finally do that with this generation. I just hope they can get the OBS presets smoothed out. For more details about NVIDIA's encoder upgrades, check out the links in the end card or in the description below. Consider checking out my OBS definitive guide course at my shop linked below where you can learn everything you need to know to master OBS for streaming, work events, or YouTube videos. And remember to be kind. Rewind.